the use case I saw this past week in a, in a product demo was they were showing me like an Excel spreadsheet, like a very complicated Excel spreadsheet modeling a financial asset. And they had a plugin to a chat GPT type AI. And so they just asked it, they typed in, what does this spreadsheet do? And it spit out like a one paragraph explanation of what the spreadsheet did. And it was really good. I mean, because me just eyeballing the spreadsheet, I could not have figured out like instantly what that thing did. It would have taken me like a while to figure it out. It told me, here are the key inputs, here are the key outputs. So that was number one. Then they, they did something, I think, even more interesting, which is they said, give me the formula that tells me when the yield is above 2% and this and that and that. And the chat GPT spat out a formula that was like perfect Excel logic. That was something that, you know, you or I could never figure out, right? You need like a super pro user of Excel to basically know how to do this stuff. So it spit it out and like, boom, it worked instantly. They copy and paste into the spreadsheet and the, you could basically, like the spreadsheet was much more advanced now. So what it got me thinking about is that we're gonna have these little assistants everywhere. You combine that power with say speech to text, right? Because we could have just talked to it. It would, the speech to text would transcribe the instruction spit it back out. And you're going to have these like little personal digital assistants in applications. I think, you know, it's pretty obvious to see how AI could replace call centers with, you know, having the frontline call center operator be, instead of being a human, it could be like an AI, but this is actually even before that, like you could actually, I think in every single application that we use, there's going to be an AI interface and like a, it is probably going to be voice-based where you can just say to it, Hey, I'm trying to accomplish this. Like, how do I do it? Can you just make it happen? Totally. And it's going to be really powerful, actually. I have an idea. I was hanging out with Andre Carpathy, and I gave him this following challenge. So there I was. So there I um, was. I said, if you had to build Stripe, I said, how many engineers do you think it would take you and how long would it take you to build it? 